Alright guys, welcome back to, let me get y'all some light, hold on, yeah. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, I ain't gonna lie, it's been very slow. A little hectic at times as well. I was so busy and like so caught up in trying to figure out what I wanted to record today and not realizing I should probably just pick the camera up and figure out, you know what I'm saying? Just like I do any video. Anyways, uh, today in this video, I think I'm about to go get some ground balls and do some throwing as well. I've been working a lot on my hands and stuff like that. This lighting is killing me. But I've been working a lot on my hands and my feet and just kind of putting it all together, just cleaning up a bunch of movements. It's actually really cold outside it's like 50 degrees so it's kind of hesitant because i'm like you know what i'm saying i don't really like the cold but i want to get out and i want to run so today is tuesday tuesdays and thursdays are my running days if you guys were wondering or asking about my scheduling and routines and a lot of stuff like that but i've been watching freaking i've been watching alex hubank i don't know if you guys watch him or not but i just like the lifestyle and the way he shows his actual life i feel like that's something that can be respected some guys show the good some guys only show the bad but i like people that show everything to show that we're actually human uh with all the good and all the bad and all the things that may come our way i need to get my room cleaned up and everything if you guys look closely there's a whole basket of clothes right there yeah those are all clean um and i need to get them folded up and put away somewhere i just need to straighten up kind of my area and stuff like that pretty soon i'll be going home for break and then we'll actually be going out of town as well because we're going on a christmas trip um but yeah so today i'm gonna go field some ground balls i'm gonna do some throwing do some sprinting i just want to pick up the camera because i felt like i've been contemplating the day none of my youtube videos are scripted but they're all pretty strategic um, on how i'm gonna post it when i'm gonna post it and things like that so we're having workouts right after school today and friday so but yeah man so that's what i'm about to do and everything like that i'm about to start getting ready so i'm gonna play some music and then uh we're gonna get it going so let's go hey siri what's the weather outside it's currently clear and 53 degrees Jesus. expect cloudy skies starting tonight Yes, sir. Right now it's three o'clock. Better get ready to roll. Better bump some tunes for you. Let's see what we bumping. I've been listening to a lot of worship music, trying to get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Right now we're gonna play "I Will Exalt You." I think I was telling you about that in the last video, but I will exalt you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, sir. All right, let me go get my glove and my cleats, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the whip ski. Let go. That was a six seven, but it might be four.
Hey guys, so right now I'm about to take some ground balls. I've been running, I've been throwing, I'm freaking tired. <clears throat> It's over your head. Oh. <laughs> Two back hands, no matter what. Oh. I'll get I'm freaking tired. But we're all done. Um, in regards to fielding, throwing, anything. I'm not lifting today. I took off because I ran. The rest of the afternoon though, I'm about to sit on my butt and <laughs> relax. I ran two six seven sixties. Could have been a little further than 60 feet, but it's all good. It's good to stay in the running shape and keep sprinting. I think my sprinting is getting a lot better. Uh, I feel a lot more fluid when I'm running instead of just kind of stomping and kind of chomping the ground up. <sighs> a little out of breath. Seems I'm a little out of shape. I think right now it's almost five o'clock. I'm gonna rake up the end field just a little bit. I filled my ground balls from short today. I'm really just focusing on my footwork and getting my ball to the ear. I'm really just focusing on the arm action and the flow of my arm and everything like that. Um, but feeling the ball, I saw the ball well. Eyes were down, legs were moving. Put myself in a good position to field the ball. I'm pretty beat though, I ain't gonna lie. But it feels really good out. It's literally about 53 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna pick you guys up in a little bit after I help him pick. And <laughs> it's the day in the life, bro. So see you in a little bit, man. So bye. All right, y'all. Well, I came to the park because I needed a quiet place to record. Hey, well, it's cold. I wanted to talk to you guys about a verse before I head back to campus. Probably one of my favorite verse. You guys have probably asked me if I can get my phone out the freaking. There we go. So this verse is Romans 8.18. We have sufferings now, but these are nothing compared to the great glory that will be given to us. Everything that God made is waiting with excitement for the time when he will show the world who his children are. The whole world wants very much for that to happen. And I like to say it like I simplified it in another version that I read, but it said the pain you're feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. The more we could just keep that in mind and realize that everything that we're going through is literally just for a certain amount of time. The cool thing about Romans 8.18 is that God is literally telling you what you're experiencing now, what you're going through, what you're feeling, what you don't feel great about, what you're struggling at. That pain is literally just for a temporary amount of time. It's only a matter of time until it goes away, until God blesses you. But you have to understand understand that sometimes God won't pull you or remove you out of situation if he doesn't feel that you've learned from it yet. And so a lot of times we're expecting these miracles or we want God to remove this person or to remove this situation or to remove this obstacle or whatever it might be. But a lot of times God is literally saying, you haven't learned what you're supposed to learn in this situation or in this period or with this person or in this interaction that I want you to learn. God just wants us to learn. You know what I'm saying? God is a teacher. 
That's what the Bible is about. The Bible is full of lessons and, and stories of people who have experienced things and gone through a lot of similar things we've had today. And it's crazy because the Bible was written over 2,000 years ago. And it's like we want God to just snap his fingers and remove us. And although he can, but sometimes we have to do the same exact effort to understand that what we're going through is so temporary. And even though it may seem long, it may be weeks, it may be months, but God is going to bless us in the end if we keep seeking him. With whatever you're going through, you got to have an active effort to make sure that you're working to get out of it or you're working with this person or you're interacting or you're respectful in these manners and things like that because the moment you forget to learn what you're supposed to be going through and you forget to take that moment and understand that God is here to help you that's when you're just going to constantly stay in it and stay in it and stay in it so he won't remove you until you learn the lesson that you're supposed to learn and I want to leave you guys on that note it's kind of late it's 9 30 um, I'm about to head to bed but I just hope you guys understand that it's Romans 8 18 go read it it's always on my heart but I want you guys to keep it in mind going forward and I hope you guys have a great day or a day in life just freaking training baby you know what i'm saying just getting after it but yeah the pain you're feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming with whatever you're going through make sure you learn a lesson in the midst of it and god will bless you in the end so i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a good one